again. We're going to talk about mulching and weed control. I've been uh, working this garden bed for quite a while and I just um, have been working straight on top of this uh, grass here. A lot of people like to spray before they mulch but using this technique you don't have to and I must admit I prefer not to, um, to use any chemicals or herbicides near my fruit trees. And I've got some fajoas right here so uh, I'm just going to start doing that now. Okay. It's very important to, to run the paper overlapping, particularly down the slope, very important. I'll show you why. Okay. As it rains, the water will be coming down the hill. And we want it to actually get, travel, hit the, hit the paper and then travel under the next layer. If you layer them round the other way, it will hit the paper and then travel along, hit the paper, then travel along, protecting that bit from any water. So we want to make sure that we always stack the paper so it will direct the water underneath. Now it's also very important, like tiles, to not leave any gaps. You really don't want to leave any gaps because the, um, the plants will travel up. So you want to have a decent overlap. You can use cardboard, paper, but it's really important to get a nice coverage. I'm just going to put some of these down, then I'll show you mulching. Now, when you get to the base of your tree, you want to remove all this weed and you don't want to put the mulch right up against the trunk because that will cause collar rot. So just clear away those weeds and when you've got a nice clear patch. You can just bring the cardboard up something like that just so, it's, so you've got a bit of a gap but make sure you get rid of the weeds first and then you can just put them up under your up under the cardboard because I'll show you what will happen. I was just, uh, as I was laying the tiles here and making sure they're well overlapped, I just lifted up a piece to tuck my bits under. I'm going to show you that. This was done probably eight weeks ago. Look at that. See the grass is already dying? Let's go and have a look at a few more examples. This is where I put the pile of cardboard waiting for me to do this job. Just look at the results, how good they are. This has only been a couple of weeks. So the grass is already looking quite thick. And the worms, you can see the worms have already been active and so have the other bugs. I've been mulching around my um, daffodils because I didn't want to mow them. But have a look at this. This was about six weeks ago. Come and have a really close look. See the grass is nearly dead and have a look at the worms. That's probably why the citrus tree will love you for mulching. Let's go and have a look what happens in say, I think it was about three months ago that I did the last batch. Let's go and look at that. Here we go, this one's about three months ago. Let's see what it's like underneath. Same thing, this, these roots are nearly dead. A bit worried about that one keeping going, but most of it is just turned to mush. And they won't survive if, if, if they keep trying to travel out and there's nowhere to travel out to, they will die. Now I've got my paper tiles down. It's just a simply a matter of covering them up. I like to put it on to the thick. The thicker it is, well, you know, sort of so thick is very effective. But if you want to make it that thick you can, that won't be a problem. But uh, if you make it too thin, one, the mulch will blow off and it'll look a bit ugly. And uh, yeah, it just will dry out really quite easily. So that's simply all I've done with the, um, with the other two still seen. So happy mulching and get rid of your weeds. I can't actually remember how long ago this was could be five months, six months, but let's see what's happening underneath. Cardboard's gone. It's just literally rotted away and become part of the soil itself. And as you can see, the weeds haven't returned. Now, it is important that you maintain it well. If they start to come up, just whip them out. Just If, if they're just little weeds, just rub them in. But uh, it's very important to maintain it, but it will take very little maintenance. So the minute you see those weeds come up, 
just attack them. But I think you can uh, see that this system really works. This was just as grassy as down there. Um, I've had to particularly look around the bottoms and keep those weeds out. But it really doesn't take long because they're so weakened by the, um, by the mulch. So if you'd like to learn more handy, helpful tips, just push the like button and uh, subscribe and pass it on. That'd be great. See you next time.